everyone. Myself, I am Uma and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I'm a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer and currently working at Microsoft. In today's video, we will be seeing the latest update of Power BI that is September 2022 Power BI updates. So we have uh, multiple updates for this month okay, with respect to reporting, data connectivity and preparation. In the Power BI service as well, we have few updates and uh, with respect to mobile apps, embedded analytics and with respect to visualization. We have multiple updates for this month and um, it is very good and interesting to know that every month uh, Microsoft is coming with some new update and uh, it is enhancing the uh, Power BI report building and uh, readability. OK, uh, let's see some uh, important and most commonly used these features. OK, this uh, some of the features which will be helpful for us in our day to day uh, reporting part. So we will see some important updates here. So let's see with respect to reporting hierarchical access by default. So this is my Power BI desktop and uh, let's see the data. I have loaded one data here to show to illustrate that to you. So let me see the data. So here we have some order information and customer information and the products and the category and subcategory of those products and the sales made by them and profit as well as quantity of products. This is my data. Now let's see this hierarchical access by default. Let me take a column chart. I have taken this column chart. Now I, I want to see category wise sales made. So let me take this to X axis and sales to Y axis. This is category wise. What is the sales made? I can even turn on the data labels to see the values. Now in this. If I want to see within the category, what are those subcategories which uh, along with the sales made? Then I can drag and drop this subcategory to this X axis. Now if you see this by default hierarchy you can see in this X axis. You can see the hierarchy right. What is this furniture office supplies and technology? These are the categories and within these categories what are the subcategories for furniture? Bookcases, chairs, furnishings and tables. This all comes under the furniture subcategory. And the, these all comes under the office supply subcategory and this comes under office. So you can see this uh, bifurcation also in, with, uh, with the dotted line. I can increase that go here in the setting in the format option grid lines. This vertical if I change this to black color and increase this here you can see right. This is nothing but hierarchy like category and subcategory hierarchy by default it is presenting in this way. So this is the latest update by Power BI. Next coming to the next update improved display name for summarized fields. Let's see what it has been improved. Let me take one uh, table here. Table visual. Now I want to see subcategory wise what is the sales and Quantity also we have right. Let me take this quantity also. So now if you see it is clearly showing me right sum of sales means the aggregation the aggregation whatever is made right here you can see all the aggregations some average minimum maximum count of distinct count. these all are aggregations okay this all aggregation so that aggregation you are seeing here sum of sales sum of quantity. So here you can see in this column header you can see which field we are taking and what is the aggregation applied field name is sales field name uh, here also the field name is quantity and the aggregation applied on this field is sum sum of sales and sum of quantity to cross verify that you can see here sum is checked here also the sum is checked. If I change this quantity, no, I don't want to see the sum of quantity, but I want to see for each subcategory what is the average quantity sold. So what I will do, I can select average. If I select average here, you, here you can see in the column header, you can see average of quantity. 
So that is what they have come up with the improvement. Improved display name for summarized fields. Before this update, we were not able to see this. Whether it is average aggregation or some aggregation or what is that aggregation, we were not able to see in this column header. Now we are able to see here. This is one more update. Next, coming to conditional formatting for data labels. We will see this also. What exactly is this? Let me take one a line chart here and here I want to see year wise what is the sales. I'll take this line chart year wise what is the sales as well as profit in the secondary axis. This I am taking now conditional formatting for data labels. So I'll go here first to turn on the data labels and in this data labels let me see how I can apply the conditional formatting. So for this profit line what I will do in these options it is auto and in values I will give the condition. So for lowest value what you will do show me this in something like red color ok for lowest values and for mid value show me in this something related to amber color ok this is amber. Next for highest value show me something in positive green color ok. So this is the conditional formatting I am giving here and background also you can add some color for this particular field you can give some background color you can select whatever the background you want and you can apply the background color as well see these are all the changes formatting changes you can do to the data label similarly this is the this is nothing but my profit line even same thing I want to do some formatting uh, conditional formatting for my sales line also this line represent the sales line and this uh, blue color represent this profit line so for sales also i'll do some formatting now condition formatting go here and uh, under these lines let me select and then you can give like for low values you can select whatever the color you want for the lowest value give me in dark color for highest maximum value give me in positive color green color i am taking that and you can also add a mid color mid color i'll give some something related to this amber or some other color i'm providing here so here also if you see it is getting changed and background also i can turn on i can give some background color so this is how you can do the conditional formatting for data labels so all these updates you can see under this reporting there are multiple updates here uh, provided we will see some more updates on the Power BI side, service side. So auto generate reports on existing data set. Auto generate reports on existing uh, data set. Let's see how we can achieve this. Existing data set in the sense like if we go to this Power BI service, this is my workspace, okay. This is my workspace called RBC Bank. In this I have published a report and once you publish the report automatically the data, data set as well you can see it here and I have created a dashboard for this. So this is the report which I have created. It literally took around more than one hour for me to create this report, okay. For all these uh, graphs, adding these visuals and then creating some measures and uh, then applying all the cosmetic changes, formatting options, it literally took more than one hour for me. Say, suppose now I have this data set available and immediately I need to create a report without manually drag and dropping any column names into visuals without even creating any visuals if i directly want to create a report we can do that by using this auto create report option so either directly you can create here auto create report option or one more option is in the workspace go to this new and create a report new report and here you can see the option pick a published data set click on the pick a published data set and here you can see all the published data sets in the workspace these are the published data sets so here i can select which one you want so i am selecting this rbc customer churn uh, data set and click on auto create report see automatically it has created a report for me it has created all these uh, bar graphs some analysis here 
some uh, smart narrative it has created and here it has created some card charts here again bar so few visuals it has automatically created for me so directly you can edit this one right you can just edit this repo and you can do whatever the changes you want say suppose you want to apply some cosmetic changes you can directly go here and select and you can change your uh, report accordingly automatically it has created just you need to enhance this report which the power bi has automatically created for me so this is also the feature provided by microsoft in the recent update so like this if you see there are multiple updates they have provided related to data connectivity service mobile apps embedded uh, and multiple visuals also in the app source they have added new visuals so what is this app source in this you can see right in the visualization pane if you go get more visuals click on this this is the app source here you will get all custom charts apart from the default charts there are multiple custom charts so you can come and explore it here that is what they have provided new visuals and drill down combo pro from zoom charts so you can go through this all of this updates for september 2022 this is the official power bi microsoft power bi uh, blog uh, this link will be provided in the description box as well you can go uh, there and read everything pin to pin all the updates so if i want all these updates right all the new updates into my existing power bi desktop which i have already installed what you can do go to file and here you can see options and settings if you go to this options and settings you can see all the uh, updates you can update everything all the recent updates here you can see preview features in this preview features you have to check all this these all the preview features or the recent updates of microsoft power bi so make sure that all is checked if something if the recent one if you have not updated any recent update right it will be something like this it will be unchecked so you have to make sure that you check all this so that you can see the updated ones you can import all these updated microsoft features into your existing microsoft power bi desktop so this is about the recent updates of power bi for the month of september 2022 so please take a time go through this uh, blog microsoft official blog and read this and start using these features this is also an important interview question because in interviews also they will keep asking what are the recent updates made by microsoft how did you achieve this how you have implemented this have you used these features in your report this kind of questions you will be getting so thanks for watching this hope this session is useful to you uh, for more informative videos please do like share and subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel thank you